Hello and welcome back everyone to BBA to Z. In this video, I'll be showing you how to password protect the file. And also I'll show you how to unprotect the file. Um, and then I'll show you how to enable read only and you know prevent data from being modified until the time they get hold of the password. Okay. So first of all, I'm using Excel 2016, but uh, it's pretty much the same for all the Excel versions. Okay. So to protect the file, first go to your open your file or uh, existing workbook, click on file or menu, and then click on save as, okay, and then browse, and then select the folder where you want to save this data or file, and then I'll just leave this as um, demo two, and then um, from the extreme, you know, bottom uh, right hand side, just click on tools and then general options. And then um, this is where you put in the password to open. Okay, so let's say that you have a password called um, Yuri X901, uh, whatever. So I'll just copy and I'll paste it here click on OK and I'll reconfirm the password so it says if you lose or forget the password it cannot be recovered it's advisable to keep a list of password and your corresponding workbook and sheet name in the safe place remember that the pass remember th that the password are case sensitive okay so it's important to know that uh, um, you know and it's uh, advisable to you know save uh, the, the password in the safe place because if not, uh, you might have to run after somebody to crack the password, which will be costing you as well as uh, might not be possible as well. Okay, so for now, just click on OK and I'll click on Save. So the workbook is now password protected. Okay, this, now I'm going to close them and then I'll try to open the demo too, which we just saved now. So now it's asking for password and I paste the password that we have created earlier and there you have access to the data or to open the file. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Now let's say that I want to unprotect them. I'll go to follow the exactly the same process. Go to file, save as, browse. And then I'll just go here and tools, general options and then, then I'll just remove the password from there. So I'll save it. Do you want to replace it? Yes. So when I reopen this file, it should not ask me for the password now, right? So it didn't ask me the for the password. Okay, so this is how you can unprotect the, the workbook. Now, the third thing is, let's say that you want to enable, you know, let's say that the data is not very sensitive and you want them to be able to view the data but not edit them. So to do that, uh, click on file again, go to the exact same place, save as, um, browse, and then tools, general options. So now you put in the, you know, the password to modify. So click here, put a password here. And uh, this is good option because they have to open and read only. So uh, check this box. And then in a short while, I'll show you what this means. So I'll reconfirm it. So it says uh, password to modify is not a security feature as you already know that this is uh, they can view it but they won't be able to modify them. Okay, so I'll just click on OK and then I'll replace the file again and then I'll close it. Let's reopen them and see how it looks like. So it says um, demo this file is reserved by LP. Enter password for write access or open read only. So um, the user can just click here and they will be op able to open the file. But when if they enter any data and then they try to close them and click on save, it say it will you know give this notification that we can save this file because it's open and read only. So even if they have to save this file, they have to save it somewhere else. Okay, they wouldn't be able to replace that file. Okay, so this is um you know uh, various ways of uh, you know um protecting the file and making certain you know options available for other users to still access the file thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye